This is the video for section 4-3, and again we're talking about proving that two triangles are congruent using less than all the sides and all the angles being congruent. Okay, And in this section we're focusing on the angle side angle postulate and the angle angle side theorem. Okay, um, And so by the end of this video you should know what that postulate and that theorem are and be able to use it to verify or prove that two triangles are congruent. So first, the angle side angles postulate is where two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Now it's important that you realize that the side must be included in between the two angles, just like the S is in between the two A's in the angle side angle labeling. Okay? Now, I hope it makes sense, because it's a postulate, that if this was congruent to this, and this angle is congruent to this one, and this angle is congruent to this one, that these sides would have to meet at the exact same place. That as, as those segments come up, they'll have to meet at a point where all the sides and all the angles would be congruent. Okay, now I hope that, that kind of makes sense. Okay, the other is a theorem. Okay, we actually we actually could prove this one. Um, if the two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the non and the corresponding non-included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Okay, the, the side must be non-included and must be corresponding. Okay, also notice that the S is not in between the two A's because that side is not included between those two angles. Okay, now um, we won't actually write a proof of this, but let me explain why that's true. Okay, angle C must be congruent to angle F by the third angle's theorem. Okay, back from section 4-1. Okay, now if those are congruent, then these two triangles must be congruent because of the angle side angle postulate. Okay, and that's essentially why this works, and that would be kind of the essence of my proof if I were to prove this theorem to be true. Okay, so that's um, the essence of the angle angle side theorem. And let's use the postulate and the theorem. Which two triangles are congruent by angle side angle? Now notice that the side must be in between the two angles. So that happens in all but this one. Now does it match up? Yes it does. So um, I will label them triangle um, SUV is congruent to triangle. Now the order must be the same. S matches with N. U matches with E and V matches with O. Okay, so this is the congruent statement, um, and it's true by angle side angle. They've already said that, so I won't list it. Okay, which two triangles are congruent by angle side angle? Again, the sides in between the two angles, and that's true in all but this one. Does it match up? Yes, it does. So triangle, I'll call it HOG, is congruent to triangle, the order must match up. Um, H corresponds with A, O corresponds with T, and G corresponds with C. Okay, uh, Don't be tempted to call it hog and cat, because those orderings don't actually match up. Are these triangles congruent? If so, write a congruent statement and explain why. If not, explain why. Well, um, I have two angles and the included side on both of them. So yes, they're congruent. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle A corresponds with A, B corresponds with E, and C corresponds with D. They are congruent by the angle side angle postulate. Are these triangles, triangles congruent? If so, write a congruent statement um, and explain why. If not, explain why not. Um, so I have two angles and a side, and it's not the included side on either one, either of them. Okay, but notice that this side and this side 
are not corresponding sides. Okay, so even though we have two angles and the non-included side, they're not corresponding. So no, because FB um, does not correspond with OT. Are these triangles congruent? Um, now, I only have one angle and one side. Let's see, is there anything else that I can use? I have vertical angles, so this is congruent to this by, and I'll kind of just label it here, by the vertical angles theorem. By the way, anytime that you use a theorem like this, you should somehow write that down so that we know um, exactly what theorem you're using. Okay, so once we have um, the vertical angles theorem, I have two, two angles and the, non, the, the corresponding non-included sides. Okay, so these triangles must be congruent. Triangle, I'll just call it APR, is congruent to triangle A corresponds with I, P corresponds with S, and R corresponds with R. Okay, by the angle, I'm sorry, yeah, angle, angle, side theorem. Okay, by the way, I'm not too picky about whether you remember if it's a theorem or a postulate. Um, as long as you have the, the labeling correct, that's more important, but um, I will always be correct in postulate or theorem, um, just for mathematical accuracy. Okay, um, are these triangles congruent? Um, yes or no? Um, well, if I look at it, this doesn't match up with this, and this doesn't match up with this, and so the answer would be no. Or I would say not enough information. They might be. Okay, so let's kind of review this really quickly. Um, which of these are triangle congruence postulates or theorem? This one is, side angle side is, in this video we talked about um, angle side angle and angle angle side. Okay, um, and so we have not talked about angle 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 or side side angle. So let's talk about those real quick. And by the way, these are all the possible combinations of um, three things, be it angles or sides. Okay, angle, angle, angle actually does not work because there's nothing that's limiting how big or small it could be. Okay, um, in fact, angle, angle, angle is an idea for similarity, which we'll talk about later on in the year, uh, but it is not a um, combination that works for congruence. Okay, side side angle, and by the way, I'll call it side side angle and not angle side side for, I think, obvious reasons. Um, side side angle also does not work um, because if you see up here, I have two triangles that is true by um, side side angle, okay, but those two triangles are definitely not congruent, okay, and that's because I could have the side be here or the side be here. Okay, and that would work in both ways. Okay, so for that reason, side-side um, angle actually is, does not work by congruence. Okay, so this video was about the angle-side angle postulate and the angle-angle-side theorem. Hopefully you can now use them um, to verify or prove that two triangles are congruent.